Today in my birthplace of Abaco, it's the fourth, it's the twentieth of September, twenty twenty four, a Friday. This is my first official video that I've done in over three weeks because I've isolated myself from the corrupt police and their corrupt practices in Abaco. For one month, I haven't left my house because the police seems to think that they have the power to kidnap you, put false charges against you with no accountability. But the reason I'm breaking my silence after three weeks, one month in isolation, is because I saw the Commissioner of Police, Clayton Fernanda, who is the leader of these corrupt cops in Abaco. And what was disappointing, what Clayton Fernanda said, he said that people like Kai Mills, not calling me by name, ought to watch what they say about police because they have to go back to their families. And it brings me back to Dana Roll when he kid kidnapped me, the cop that came on the porch and invited me to the police station when he kidnapped me and had me locked up for five days, he said, Kai, there's a price to pay for speaking truth on police that are doing corrupt stuff. And the Commissioner of Police basically confirmed that last night by saying that we have to watch what we say about police. But what I want what I wanted to get out, what the commission would have said, is that he and the Prime Minister is trying to show the public that the police is good. But what the commissioner said when he said that we ought to watch what we said, he doesn't realize that the people are speaking out. They are showing the disappointment appointment in the police. What the commissioner police didn't tell Abaco and Abaco residents and the rest of the Bahamas is what is he doing about corrupt cops? Is he doing what they always do? Transfer them moving around the Bahamas, but they're still corrupt cops. He noted that saying they have 200 new recruits coming out. I could bet you that you have 200 corrupt cops in the system. What the Bahamian people would have liked to heard that he's going to bring in these new police and get the old ones out of the system. <sighs> then the bad thing about what he said last night I was just baffled by it. When Clint Watson asked the Commissioner of Police about the investigation into the top cop here at the CDU, the Commissioner of Police basically said that <laughs> the investigators is not even in the Bahamas. That one right there was hurtful and hateful to all people that want to see some transparency. So while they're thinking about what we say about them, worrying about their image, they're losing it because people are still losing faith. I had over 700 people voted for me in the last general election. Each one of them have two eyes. That's 1,400 eyes that are watching. And they are trying to isolate Kai Mills trying to stop me from doing the videos because they are truthful videos and I understand that truth hurts but I am doing my job as a citizen by calling out the corrupt cops Commissioner Police you're not doing your job by getting them off the force Kai cares as I come out of this isolation 
and holding myself as a hostage against the corrupt police in Abaco because Kai Case.